channel and to Florida, day two. I am here today at Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure for a super fun day in the parks with my friend Lauren. So it's early morning, it's about half past eight. I've just got here and we're gonna hit up Islands of Adventure first. So I can't wait to go and jump on some rides, meet some characters and just have an awesome day. We've not really got anything set in stone planned. We're gonna play it by ear. We're just gonna have a lot of fun. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Do be sure to subscribe if you're not already to join in with all the upcoming Florida adventures. You're so I say here we go. You do that something to me. You do that something to my heart. exclusive pass holder entrance today which is actually over to the left of the island's lighthouse so let's see what it's like it doesn't actually look like there's much of a queue to get in anyway but as I can use this we're just gonna try it let's see how we go look at this oh yeah a lot of love for islands of adventure I'm in straight in didn't take a second now I need to find Lauren I think she's at guest relations just picking up her annual pass so i'm gonna go have a little mooch around see if i can find her so excited she only got here yesterday so it's my first time seeing her out in florida my bestie here at the same time as me we're gonna have an amazing day Hi! i'm absolutely not hungry yet but this is available until 12. Seriously, how good does that look? It looks like some kind of McMuffin, but on a Cinnabon. I really, really want to eat that. Oh my gosh, Hulk. That's one way to wake up. <laughs> Getting a quick look at how the park's looking this morning. We've got Velocicoaster at 75 minutes, Forbidden Journey 35, Spider-Man's only 10, Hippogriff five minutes. I might do Hippogriff to warm up before all the big coasters. Yeah, it's not looking too bad. Most of Dr. Seuss, five minutes or so. Hulk, 15 minutes. I may do Hulk today, you know. Let's see how brave I'm feeling. I wonder if I've got a new breath of braveness after my experience with Tron yesterday. The sunshine's just breaking through and the weather looks quite promising today. So I'm over the moon about that. I was very lucky at Halloween Horror Nights last night with no rain. If you've not checked that vlog out already, head back on because that was amazingly fun. And it's also the reason why I have these shades on today because these eyes are tired. I'm making the most of every second here because I was out quite late last night. So <laughs> it's going to take me a little while to wake up today. I'm just waiting for Lauren to come through. Look at these views across the park. Oh goodness. Am I going to do Velocicoast this trip? I don't know. We'll see. Gorgeous. Guys, I've actually just had a thought and realized something. Where I'm standing right now, which is like just like, as you enter Islands of Adventure, head straight down and to look over at this lovely view. This is where um, Ant and Deck did the finale of the Saturday Night Takeaway when they were here at Islands. So I remember the view of Seuss Landing and Velocicoaster and Hogwarts and everything. So how cool. How amazing would it have been to be part of that experience? Just picked up the Halloween Horror Nights refillable cup for the freestyle machine. It was $20.22, I think he said. I'm gonna go for Coke Zero right now, but me and Lauren will share this. Ahem. Oh, the throat from all the screaming last night. Me and Lauren will share this for today. So $10 each and then, oh, nearly. And then I can use it just for the water because the water in these freestyle machines is filtered and that's free. So now I've got this for the trip and don't have to keep spending $4 every time I need a water. Guys, I've got Lauren. Hello. She's all Harry Pottered up, looking Yay. lovely. Is that from Disney World? Yes, Disney You can tell. Yes. Love it. And the bag, did I say 12? Gorgeous. Chocolate frogs. And we are actually heading down to Hogsmeade right now. Here we go. First time in Hogsmeade of this trip. We've got the lovely Hogwarts Express. It feels quite um, relaxed in here today. Doesn't feel too hustly bustly, nice. does it? Gorgeous. I wonder what the line is for Hagrid's. There's a lot of team members standing there. I wonder, is it down? Is it down? It might be. There's a lot of team members. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, it's down. Oh, I'm glad I didn't rope drop for that this morning. 
So yeah, Hagrid's motorbike adventure is down this morning. Don't know when that'll open up again. Um, but the Forbidden Journey and the flight of the Hippogriff is 35 minutes. So Lauren's gonna do the Forbidden Journey. I'm retired from that one. It made me feel a bit queasy last time. So I'm, I've taken an early retirement from the Forbidden Journey. And I'm gonna go on the flight of the Hippogriff. So that's gonna be fun. And they should both take the same amount of time and we'll reconvene afterwards. Just wait for Lauren to come off the forbidden journey. I'm just like opposite the bathrooms and the free broomsticks underneath the shade. And I'm just looking up at all these details. There's loads of owls up there. Oh my gosh, and their heads even move. Never noticed this before. Rides are super fun and we're now heading into the All Hallows Eve a like Halloween boutique and I love they've even got like a Dr. Oddfellows Carnival of Frills up there and it's got Jack on it so love that for detail. Oh loads of Oddfellows. Nice. Oh this aircon is glorious. Love that. So they've got posters of all the houses in here. Blood Moon, Dark Offerings, the Yeti Campground Kills. You've obviously got the big Dr. Oddfellows one. Jordan Dragons, The Darkest Steel. I need to do that one again today because it was so dark, but I think my eyes hadn't adjusted, so I'll give it a go. I also need to choose a Halloween Horror Nights t-shirt, because I get one every year. $31 for this one. I do like the colours this year, do you? It's nice, isn't it? I really like that. Really nice. Um, that one is quite similar to the one I got last year. Um, that was that style. I may go for a more one of the other style ones this time just to mix it up a bit oh little boo there he is i haven't seen much of him this halloween horror night season look that's cute press here what does he do what do you do little boo uh not much <laughs> here we go i've just stumbled across one of those bows that's working that's cute i like little boo a lot twenty dollars for the bow Oh, the cap! Look at that! How much is that one? 28. That's nice. Spooky ducks. They've got a Chucky, like, bucket hat. And it's some of the stuff's already got 30% off, which is quite cool. There's a skirt over there as well. I know that my friends Steph and Jim like a bucket hat. I'd like that one. Loads of Chucky stuff. Saw quite a lot of people in these actual Chucky clothes last night. So you've got the like crop jumper that's $37 and then you've actually got these little dungarees. I love that people are actually going like all out this year with their costumes. It seems to be getting more of a thing to properly like dress up as much as you can. What's this one like? Oh, that's the nicest one. I've smelt them all. I was smelling them in the tribute store last night. I didn't have this Chucky one. That is really quite nice, actually. So we've come to Cinnabon for breakfast. After I saw that sign this morning, I was like, we have to do that. We must, it's a necessity. I've gone for bacon, sausage and cheese, and Lauren's gone for, no, I haven't. What have I got? Bacon, egg and cheese. Yeah. And Lauren's got, sausage egg and cheese yeah, mine's got a b and yours has got an s and they just look like lovely little rolls to be honest and they were five dollars something each which is reasonable really good that's a really good breakfast option and it looks super scrummy they also filled up our refillable cup in there so any like quick service with the soda machine they can do that rather than having to actually find the freestyle um so that was all very easy it's just coming up for 10 past 11 and i think after this we're gonna head to maybe spider-man and kong yeah it's good sun's out we've got two happy girls this is our little setup guys we've got the fan which is amazing um 
and the Hulk here at Cinnabon. So gorgeous. Look at lovely blue sky coming through as well. We're just watching Dudley Do Right's Rip Saw Falls. Here it comes. It's been closed the last few times I've been here for refurb, so woohoo! Oh, splash zone! <laughs> I've never done that one, it looks kind of crazy. We're just heading into the Jurassic Park kind of area, and I think we're going to go on Kong. I'm just watching the flyers go round, the one like the kiddie one that goes around the sky, and remembering when I did that with Pete last time. I can't wait to bring her back when she's a little bit bigger as well next year. It's going to be so much fun because there's new stuff she can do every year it's just that's why i love it so much but yeah we're gonna go on reign of kong which i haven't done in a while so that'll be fun it's got a wait time of 35 minutes so i wonder if the trucks are going outside because they haven't been going like doing the outside part for quite a long time now so it'll be interesting to see if they're back up and running doing that i'm excited for kong of Reign of Kong and it was good wasn't yeah, it? Yeah it was so good yeah. It's, it's very clever we were just saying a lot of people don't necessarily rate it but yeah. it's a damn sight better than Fast and Furious if you've only, oh. <laughs> you only got time to do one of that ride type because they're very similar mm -hmm. ride styles really aren't they are, then yeah. Kong is definitely the one. Mm -hmm. It's quite scary I think. Yeah for little kids anyway like yeah. When, yeah like, I, your little ones. I took my little one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> No, she she was five, six. It was last February. She did like it. She enjoyed it, but she was with Jimmy at the time, and uh, so I think she was alright. She's with like another another child. Um, but yeah, she. I don't know. I, I do these rides, and I think, cool, oh, cool. How did she do that? That little brave soul, bless her heart. But she yeah, she is. She is. Oh, I'll miss her. <laughs> we talk about. I miss her too much. But yeah, what should we do? Should we go and do? Spider-Man? Yeah. Yeah, yeah Spider-Man, which is my favourite. Let's go spider it up. Yay! We just popped down to say hello to um, Velocicoaster and for me to have a little think about whether or not I might have the courage to do it tomorrow. But every time I get close to it, you just see how blooming quick it is. And it's like nothing else. Um, it's quite unbelievable, actually. I can't believe Rob got me on it the first time. We might see it come round, hopefully. Um, but yeah, welcome to Jurassic Park. Just watching people coming down on Jurassic Park River Adventure because it's just quite funny to see like everyone's reaction when they get to the bottom. It's such a fun ride, here they come. Oh my gosh, we're not jumping on today because it's going to rain soon anyway so we don't want to get too wet and Lauren doesn't um, care for this one so I might do it tomorrow. We'll see, we'll see. Last time I did it, we well, absolutely drenched but it is a lot of fun. Definitely one to check out. Oh I'm heading on through to Spider-Man and just walking through the queue line. It's all really interesting and nice to look at. We've got all imagery and things that are going to be on the ride, aircon in here is nice as well. How good's that aircon? Spider Man was super fun. We were sat at the back today and actually felt the effect quite a lot more like the vibration when he electrocuted and the water was there was a lot of water. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. We're just going to have a look at some of these little carts on the way out. We're around like port of entry, kind of opposite Cinnabon where we were earlier. You can probably hear Hulk going round again but yeah we're gonna have a little look at these carts and then I think we're gonna go next door to Universal Studios and explore Minions Land because I haven't ridden Villain Con yet haven't been in the Minions Cafe Bake My Day I haven't done any of it I've only really been in there for Halloween Horror Nights so we're gonna explore all around the Minions Land and see what fun stuff we can find and see what fun stuff we can eat <laughs> Just having a look at all these different lounge fly. There's so many these days, you can literally get one for anything you're into, I think. I like that ET one. I'm not really a lounge fly person, like I don't love them. Um, I appreciate that they're cool though, and I know why people do like them a lot. That one's quite cool. Hello Kitty Waffles, so 
I'll just show you all the different ones available. I like how they've done extra minions ones, and that one's like Villain Con specifically. But Back to the Future, SpongeBob, look at him. Oh, he's little hat, he's a cutie. Right, we're just walking through City Walk, coming past Toothsome and the Hard Rock Cafe and heading on into your studios. I don't think we're gonna venture much past Minions Land because after this, we're gonna go back to the resorts. Um, Lauren's at Dockside, I think, not Surfside. She's, she's over there though. Um, we're both gonna get freshened up and come back out for Stay and Scream. We definitely wanna hit Stay and Scream today because I've been missing that like every day so far. But yeah, City Walk's gorgeous. There's a nice little breeze at the moment as well, which is cooling us down because man oh man, it's hot and humid. Like it's lovely, but it's hot. Yeah, walking by the water, having a look around City Walk. It's beautiful, and we're loving life. Might have a problem, guys. The world stopped spinning. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. It's usually like spinning. It's quite nice because it's in the right place for pictures and things. I don't know whether they've been doing some filming or something maybe and put it still, but we're gonna make the most of it and get some nice pictures with the Universal Globe. Here we go, back into Universal Studios Florida for some Minions fun. It looks quite quiet actually. There's not really anyone about out the front here. So hopefully we get to do Villain Con. You excited dude? Yeah. <laughs> Here we go, we're entering Illumination Avenue, Minion Land, this brand new sign. I love it, I really do like the Minions, so I think this is a cool addition to the park. It did need a few more family bits, so I'm all here for the Minions. We're going to go have a look at the queue time for Villain Con, Minion Blast, and try and get our first ever ride on here. We've come to have a look inside of the Villain Con gift shop. Oh my gosh, I'm so, I'm so sweaty. It's so warm. But yeah, we're going to check out all the Villain Con merch. There are some cool things in here. I love this shirt. <laughs> it's so Larry. That is $70. You'd have to be a big Villain Con fan to get that. You could get your shirt, your cap, and your Villain Con lounge fly. It's quite a nice one, actually. They've got the um, shooter for sale, which is used like within the ride, the X Eliminator X, and that, $35. Villain Kong exclusive, it's quite cool. We've got spirit jerseys and everything. Oh my gosh, that aircon draft coming down from this ride exit is incredible. Oh, backpack lounge fly, I haven't seen those before. Uh, that one had no price, neither has that one. No, it's that one. It's a mystery. There's also a scoreboard with the top 30 villains, um, the top scores from the ride. I definitely will not be on there because <laughs> I'm not very good at shooting games, as we know. Ah, oh, the minions are actually out. They've shut the line for now. They're probably having a break or something, but they're so cool. Hello! Would have been cool to meet them. We've got posters of the Vicious Six all along the top there. Frankie Bishlet, Professor Flux. And we're going to head on into Fake My Day and see what sweet goodies they have. But I love how pink and cute this is. This shop is adorable. They even have like a little Fake My Day headband. This is completely my kind of style in here. Pink and pastels and girly and candy floss and lovely. What have you found? Candy? Yeah, like little gummy lollipops. Nice, marshmallow, popcorn. I want to look in the actual counter and see what goodies they have. So here in Bake My Day we have Swiss Roll, Cookie S'mores, Cupcakes, Cake Pops and Minion Apples. They also do macaroons and mini woofy pies. And guys, look in this counter. This stuff looks so good. We're actually going to grab something to eat at the Minion Cafe. But maybe after we'll come back here. Look at the macaroons. So we just went to fill up our cup and have a look, five minute sit down before we get in line for Villain Con. And I'm sorting out my app because I think you register on the app for Villain Con to get your scores and things like that. So connect your blaster. If I go and play, what happens? Take the challenge. Welcome to Villain Con featuring the Vicious Six. 
I want to take the challenge. I'm ready. Loading the evil. Guys, can you even see this? Or is it the sun in the way? I don't know. But basically, I'm going to sync my blaster when I got on the ride, and then my school will stay so I can see if I improve next time I go on, which I probably won't. Right, are you ready to go blast some villains? <laughs> it's going to be fun. Cause yeah. it's, it's like a walking yeah. shooting game, which is different. Yeah, it's very different. I just hope it doesn't make me feel dizzy. But I'm I think sure we'll right. be all right. I think there are some screen yeah. elements yeah. and some normal like set elements. So mm. we'll yeah. tell you guys all about it mm -hmm. when we come off. I don't think you're allowed to film on there. No, I wouldn't say so. I no. don't think you'd be able to do in both. Yeah, I want to get a high score. So even if we're allowed, I'm not going to film on there. It's my first go. I'm going to enjoy it. And we'll let you know how it goes. Right, we're headed into Billingcon for the first time. It's nice to get out of that blazing sunshine. We've got some little pre show TV bits. I'm excited. Please download the app, utilize the QR codes found throughout the queue. Need to share? No problem. You can break multiple game profiles. This is really cool in there. Loads to look at. All minion -y and villainy filmed. It's all very villainous in here. We've got the Bank of Evil. All kinds of villains. Guys, in a quick change of scenery, I'm actually back at Aventura now. We did VillainCon, was amazing. I actually really enjoyed it. As far as a new addition to Universal Studios Park goes, that's family friendly. I thought it was brilliant. I'd compare it to like Midway Mania and online I'd been hearing like that it wasn't that great and it was a bit meh but I, I can't fault it. I thought it was fun and it was the first shooting game where I could actually see my like little thing that you shoot with on the screen. I can never find it on Buzz or anything like that so I really enjoyed it and I got a decent score as well. And then we had a look at Minions Cafe but the queue was so long and it was like two o'clock so it was like peak lunch time-ish in the theme park and we just didn't have time for that day so I might try Minions Cafe tomorrow or before I go on Monday. Um, yeah and I've come back to get ready for Halloween Horror Nights. I'm currently at the Urban Pantry in Aventura. I've just ordered some french fries and I've got my little buzzer to get those. It was uh, $8.83 for french fries and a bottled water because I like to have the water in my room. I am going to fill up my um, refillable cup with uh, filter water from the freestyle machine. The park mugs don't work here for like soda and stuff like that but I, I think it should work for water. I'll let you know if it doesn't. <laughs> I'm hopeful though. I'm sitting over by the window actually. I just walked to the back of the restaurant so I could film this little um, bit and I'm just looking at the views. I can see Surfside and Dockside. I can see Volcano Bay. I can see the Hyatt something. I haven't got my glasses on. I can't read so but yeah, I think this is probably the end of the resort that Rob and I stayed at last time because we could see the Dockside Surfside and we could see this building with a big globe on top that's on iDrive and we could see like the entrance to Volcano Bay. So I think we're at the back of the resort over here whereas I'm at the front of the resort this time. So yeah, let me show you this view real quick. That's the building I mean over there with the um, thing on the top. That's Dockside and Surfside where Lauren's just gone back to. And then you've got the buses delivering people to Volcano Bay, just over here. Cabana Bay to the side here. Or maybe I'm, oh no, Cabana Bay is huge. I was gonna say maybe I'm over here because I can see Cabana Bay, but it's massive, so it probably wraps around this whole resort. And this is the Urban Pantry at nearly 3 p.m. on a Saturday afternoon. Turns out you cannot use the water from the machine, so. Good job I bought one, but that's fine. I've got my fries, I'm gonna sit and enjoy these now and I'm gonna call home, check in on everybody, make sure everyone's doing okay, not missing me too much. <laughs> I don't they are, they're all absolutely fine. I've spoken to them already today, they're fine, loving life at home. It's a weekend, happy days. Yeah, I'm gonna munch these and I'm gonna go get ready for Halloween Horror Nights. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. I'm so happy my anti-humidity spray seemed to have worked better today, but it's been hot, hence the scraping of the hair back but yeah be sure to subscribe if you're not already the next vlog will be halloween harrow nights one so enjoy take care of yourselves and i'll see you guys real soon